Hello. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I sketched, how I drew these two sharks, which I did for Shark Week. Um, and it's part of a project called Creativity Wise, which is about the universal creative process. <clears throat> so I want you to not look at it as a drawing, um, drawing lesson, particularly, but just as an approach, a lesson about approach, about how the creative process works. So if, even if you're a writer or an um, app designer or anything else, uh, you can still uh, use the same method and I'm going to help you through the, uh, the video. I'm going to show you uh, what I mean by that. Uh, so let's start with the video and uh, let's see what happens. So you can see that the first thing I did here was just to glance uh, to do the um, a Google search and look at some images of sharks. But notice that I just glanced at it. I didn't kind of choose a, a shark to to actually use a as a reference as a reference. I just had a general look on sharks just to get my brain working, and then I just con continue to straight to the drawing. And you can see here that I'm starting to use uh, just shapes. You know, just playing around with it. And the important thing here, the keyword is playing. Uh, the important thing is to really keep that playful attitude. And I think a lot of um, artists and a lot of creatives work in kind of a, they commit too, uh, too, too fast, too quickly to what they're doing. So here you can see that I'm just kind of playing around with, with shapes and with lines and trying this and trying that doing something really quickly and then erasing it and so if you're an, a writer for example uh, you can maybe toss in some general uh, ideas in that way and then but not really care whether it's it's really good or anything you just throw it out there and you try um, and you try it out and you see what happens uh, same if you're an app designer uh, or, a, or a web designer you can just try out some stuff and and quick doing it quickly is key okay so what I'm trying to show you here is an approach um, where where you kind of throw th stuff around and you you play with it it's like uh, my favorite metaphor for that is that you, it's like playing Lego right you just uh, take some piece pieces of Lego and you just try to put them together and it doesn't necessarily have to be great and you can you can see here with a with a big shark below that I'm that I started with a, that I'm starting with this uh, kind of shape you know strange shape and then uh, you can see that I'm kind of pushing this and pushing that and trying to see where it's going um, and I think that's a really good process really helps me anyway uh, to just throw stuff in and then kind of try and see where the work itself is uh, wants to go where it leads me okay so again if you're a, if you're a writer you can just write a sentence it doesn't have uh, write a, an idea, a story idea uh, not just a sentence but a story idea and even even if you're not sure that this is the greatest idea ever you just put put it in and uh, and just see if you can kind of use it um, to get more ideas Understand? Yeah, so you can see here I, I um, finished with that page, and now I'm going to the next page. And I'm using I'm using uh, in this in this uh, drawing that I'm doing now. I'm using some of the ideas that I that I started with in the with the last chart in the last page. So I'm taking that, and my decision is let's see if I can make it stronger. If I can if I, if I can make it even more weird, even more more twisted. So many times. Um, many times uh, I, I start with something that the first few attempts are kind of too mild and maybe for you your first few attempts are, are really ex too extreme the point is that um, the first attempts are just that first attempts and uh, you shouldn't take it yourself too seriously at that point alright so now that I've done my first kind of uh, that I've, I've I've done my my first few, uh, you know, maybe call it even a warm up, just just a few really rough stuff that I don't really believe in. But I just did it, 
okay now I think it's getting somewhere okay with this kind of more lean shape and the mouth is is kind of complete all the way to the back uh, so he almost looks like a banana or something, you know, that was broken in the middle. So I thought that was funny, and with all the teeth and the eyes there, and and you can see that I keep glancing again and again uh, at some sharks, but I'm I'm glancing, I'm not really looking at it, I'm not letting it um, affect my judgment too much and make make my drawing appear a little bit too realistic, right? This is really important. I think I think a lot of artists who um, who use reference, um, they tend to kind of let the reference lead them too much, and and I think reference is also helpful when you write or when you when you do uh, web design. I'm just gonna use these examples, uh, uh, but it's it's really true for everything else. Um, so I think when you use other people's work and you um, it's a really good process or, or pictures or reference material of any kind it's a really good process except you have to be really careful that it doesn't actually um, uh, lead you you know that, that you lead it that you kind of glance at it get some ideas and get back to your work and not just kind of start a process of copying I say I think that's important okay And, and here you could see me kind of glancing back at at, at, the, at the former page just to see where I'm going and, and to see um, what I might want to try next. So what I'm trying next is obviously completely the other, uh, the other, the um, the opposite, right? If this is a lean kind of really um, uh, uh, narrow shape, now I want to try something heavy with 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 a lot of volume right so you could see that that I just started with this volume just a circle here's the volume this is this is the the basic concept of what I'm doing I'm doing volume and before that uh, I did the basic uh, uh, concept was lean right so I'm starting lean and then I'm building on top of that and so here I'm I'm starting you know uh, um, volume um, fat maybe even or big in any way um, and then I'm building on top of that so all the details are coming on top of a very strong and simple concept And here you can see uh, how I um, I just put in the eyes just wherever, but then I can I get to um, reconsider that and just erase that thing and then make it stronger. Okay, so now it has this big body and and this uh, tiny little mean eyes. Okay, so um, when you work like that, it's really it's really a lot of fun to just um, to just play with stuff. And to keep it very editable, to um, make it so that it's not frightening to change stuff because you've invested too much in it. So now it's, oh, I don't want to touch that because, uh, you know, it might be a lot of work again. So don't do that. Play with stuff. And again, even if you're using word or words instead of lines or, or um, you know, or, or shapes, uh, whatever you're doing, uh, you know, in web designs or colors or whatever you're using, um, whatever you're doing, just... Uh, find methods that will help you um, be, be, be playful and just throw stuff in and see what happens. Right, so here we're starting with the uh, with a completely uh, with a completely different uh, you know, we've moved on and now I've I've chosen my concepts and they are the the the, the two that came um, the two in the in the second page, which is 
by the way, not really something um, uh, rare that I start with some of the I start with some stuff and even though I think it's kind of nice the really good stuff will all only come uh, on the third or fourth or fifth or sixth attempt um, somewhere along these lines so I, I'm always making myself try a few more options even, even though even if the first one looks kind of nice I always strive to try a few different um, ideas and then I can always co come back to the first one if I choose to which almost never happens all right, so um, so uh, now I'm I'm going with these uh, with these two, and I'm using uh, uh, these uh, and I'm using I'm using this one uh, kind of inky inky uh, um, lines, and I think again a lot of people tend to uh, when they when they start inking, you know, uh, they tend to kill it, just you know go you know do something really slow and controlled and 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 kind of kill the fun of it and i think with this one um the 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 process i i really tried to make it to keep it alive and to keep it sketchy even though it's a very strong and dark line uh and you'll see in a moment it you know it doesn't bother you when you see the final result it's kind of fun to watch So I know I'm gonna have the the top part darker and the and the lower part um, um, more bright, more light, whiter. But you can see I'm not even really investing in the in the colors or anything like that. It's not like okay, I, now I have to investigate about the colors and, the, and you know I'm just doing this and then I can I can just use some Photoshop tools to to just pick the colors after I did the the dark and bright uh, duo tone thing okay and play around with the colors to, and and here I'm starting with the eyes okay and I know this is important to, to understand I know that the eyes and the teeth are not going to be um, yellow I know that at this point but it's just that I'm thinking maybe it would be yellowish or something like that I'm just gonna toss it in and then I'm going to tone it down and then I'll see what happens okay um, again really really quickly without dwelling without trying to make it really exact now I'm playing with the colors okay uh, and you can see that I'm, I make it I made it a little bit uh, uh, less um, you know less dark you know uh, wider and then I changed it to red okay and then I got the idea that maybe the, the eyes will will be white and not red, but maybe it will only have this kind of uh, this kind of red here, uh, which makes him that much meaner or you know this kind of character. Um, and here I'm trying some stuff. All right, so what I was trying here to do is to kind of mark an idea where um, you know like the, the 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 light from from the surface of the water. Um, draws these uh, bright shapes like in a swimming pool uh, so I tried to show that and then I thought okay that kind of takes away from the design and it's you know either you render it or it doesn't really look like what it should so okay so I just did it in five minutes uh, five minutes five seconds and then and then I could I could just erase the whole idea right so this is what I'm doing here I'm just erasing the whole the whole thing uh, and it really takes seconds to just try something out and and decide what what to do with it okay now that's good enough for me and I'm gonna try go with the other one and for the other one uh, I decided to go with a with a different kind of uh, rendering to make it a little bit mm, nicer also because 
uh, it's so much about the the volume of the thing so I decided to do something else and also, and also to, to show you a different way of doing it now that I'm doing video okay so um, this is kind of a pe more uh, classic pencil work okay um, and and again you will see that I'm not trying to be too exact with my lines okay I'm not trying to because I'm afraid of killing it I don't want to do this controlled line even though I can but I found from my experience that it just uh, helps this, the, the, the drawing come alive when I'm um, when, when I'm when I'm letting it grow gradually you know with with very uh, loose um, pencil strokes and again if you're a writer or something like that the, the lesson here is um, to really not um, try and finish and and do the fin to finish um, how, how would I put it not to try and get, get too quickly to the actual uh, words or pixels or lines that you're gonna have you're gonna have to let it come to you you're gonna have to work really loosely without and playfully and let the thing um, tell you what it wants to be and where it wants to go and I think this organic kind of uh, slow building building up which is a process I call working in passes this is uh, the kind of thing uh, you want to keep in mind and I think the drawing your drawing or your or your scenes or your web pages or whatever you're doing I think it it will um, have this quality of of, of fun and, and life that I think we're all s striving for, right? You see, I'm, I'm building it really slowly, kind of going through through the thing once and then another, another time and another time. You can see how it's gra it gradually becomes uh, more defined. I think define is is a good word because this is what you draw you're doing you start very undefined very uncommitted and then slowly you define it more and more so you have you know 10% defined and then this is the 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 the, the initial really uh, rough sketch that I did and then maybe 30% uh defined and then you have maybe 70 and then 90 percent and then 95 percent 98 percent so you keep defining it a little bit at a time until if you have the time you make it 100 percent uh, uh, defined which is where you have a complete rendered drawing which we're not going to get to we're just going to have a sketch here so it's going to be 60 percent defined All right, so here I'm uh, I'm painting this uh, the upper um, the upper section of it uh, in a bit of a strange way, not not the way I would usually do it. I don't know why I, why I did it that way this time, but uh, it is interesting. I you know really quickly painted the whole thing and then I'm just erasing uh, what's not needed and it, and it it's actually a, a faster way of doing it than trying to. Uh, painted in the lines and once again it's the same theme of just do something really quickly and then start um, uh, pushing it down or forward or to whatever direction it needs to be in order to become the final the final thing okay so you can see that you know with the eyes as well I just made them I just painted over them in the first stage but now all right now I can erase erase it because uh, because it's a different layer okay so this is the drawing uh, that I came up with in the end, two drawings. Um, I hope you liked this, uh, this little uh, commentary, the video in the commentary and the drawing. Um, if you want to hear more about, about the project, about Creativity Wise and what I'm doing there with the universal creative process, um, go to creativitywise.com. 
and uh, look around and I hope you like it and I hope you join the site and uh, that you'll join my video courses um, but for now um, thanks for joining bye bye